What's up, it's Vince Leah from VinceLeah.com, and I'm hanging out with one of my favorite people and chefs, Yvonne. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Now, we were talking, and you were telling me that you love shopping at Trader Joe's. All the time, multiple times a week. So, do you think we could head over there and find a bunch of ingredients and throw together some awesome vegan meals? Absolutely. They have a bunch of organic vegan ingredients that we could put a bunch of meals together with. Awesome. Let's head over to Trader Joe's. Let's go. So Yvonne, you own like a wholesale cheese and vegan dessert company here in LA. You may have seen a bunch of those videos we did earlier. And you can tell because the back of her car is full of like coolers and everything. You got some deliveries going on there, Yvonne, don't you? I do. I need a refrigeration truck. <laughs> That's the next investment. Yeah. Refrigeration truck. <laughs> it's coming. Alright, so we are back from Trader Joe's. We are in the kitchen and we're gonna be cooking up four recipes for you with everything we bought from Trader Joe's. Yes, we are. So, what's the first one, Yvonne? We're gonna make a red lentil pasta with pink sauce. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna make waffles with blueberries. Yes. Um, oatmeal with blueberries and a pesto pasta. And a pesto pasta. So everything is gluten free. All these ingredients are from Trader Joe's. And we're doing about one person serving sizes, which comes out to either two dollars or less for everything. So I'm pretty stoked because I'm hungry, and we're gonna be eating. All right, let's go make some food. The first dish we're making is red lentil pasta with pink sauce. Let me show you the ingredients. We have red lentil pasta. We're gonna use some sun-dried tomatoes, some organic tomato basil marinara sauce, some water and cashews that we're gonna turn into a cream. We're gonna mix it all up together in a pot put a little bit of spice and add in the pasta, top it with some basil, and that's it. The first thing we'll do is make the sauce. Now we're gonna take about half a cup of marinara sauce, pour it into the pot, and we're gonna add some sun-dried tomatoes, about a tablespoon or two. It gives this, this pasta a meaty texture. And then we'll take our cream sauce and we're going to add it into the pot. And this is pretty much a one pot wonder, so it's as easy as that. Oh, and for a little kick, add some cayenne pepper or sriracha. Now you want to mix it all up until it's warmed through. It's going to turn a nice pink color, that's why we call it a pink sauce. <laughs> Once it's warmed, we're gonna throw in the cooked pasta, add some basil, plate it, or you could eat it straight from the pot. Now that the pasta sauce is warm, we're going to add the pasta into the pot. I'm gonna throw in some basil, just a little, oops. About a tablespoon, mix it up. Lentil pasta with pink sauce. How easy was that? Super easy. So now we're gonna start the oatmeal. We're just gonna boil up one cup of oats. We're gonna to add to it one fourth cup of applesauce with cinnamon. Then we're gonna stir in some, about half a cup of blueberries and half a banana. Now we're going to add the oats into the boiling water. until it's all thickened and cooked through. The oatmeal is almost cooked and we want to add a little bit of sweetness. So we're going to add some applesauce with cinnamon in it into the oatmeal. It's about one fourth cup. Voila, breakfast is ready. So now we're gonna start on the waffles. We're gonna take one cup of oats to make an oat flour, and by doing that, we just add it to a blender and blend it up, and once it's all blended like a powder, it is oat flour. So 
So now that we have our oat flour, let's add it to a bowl. And along with it, we're gonna add two tablespoons of flax meal, two teaspoons of baking powder. Let's mix it up. We'll add about a little over three fourths cup of water or almond milk. A fourth cup of this is applesauce with cinnamon in it. It up and let it sit for at least 10 minutes for, before baking, actually 15 minutes. The flaxseed will thicken and it'll become more of a batter, workable batter. Now it's time to cook the waffle. I'm going to use this cooking spray and a heated waffle iron. Spray like so. What a mess. Once all the steam has dissipated, it's ready. But as you see here, there's a lot of steam, so you're gonna have to wait quite a while. It doesn't matter if your machine beeps and says it's ready. You need to wait until all the steam dissipates, and that's when it's ready. To make it sweeter, you could add some maple syrup, or you could add some yogurt, or you can make my morning chocolate sauce recipe, which is in my app. So now we're going to cook the pesto pasta. We cooked about one cup of this fusilli brown rice quinoa pasta. We rinsed and drained it, put it in a bowl, and we're gonna take this vegan kale cashew and basil pesto, take about a quarter of it, mix it into this bowl here, and add some sun-dried tomatoes for some meatiness. I always add a little bit of a kick, so I'm adding about two or three shakes or four of cayenne pepper. I'm gonna give it a good mix. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more brightness by adding some lemon zest. All right, so we just finished up these four awesome recipes. And Yvonne, I think some of those servings were a little more than one. There were probably two. Yeah, some of them were close to two, but they were delicious. They were all healthy ingredients, vegan, available at Trader Joe's. So thanks for joining me, Yvonne. Thanks for having me. So I had a blast making these. And if you're interested in checking out any of those recipes, you can find some of them in her app, Yvonne's Vegan Kitchen. Link for that app is in the description box below. And where can people find you online, Yvonne? You can find me at Yvonne'sVeganKitchen.com or on Facebook and Instagram at Yvonne'sVeganKitchen.com. <laughs> and I'll link all of that as well as her website in the description box below so you can check her out and give her a follow. And leave me a comment below. Let me know if you shop at Trader Joe's and which of these recipes you think you'll be making soon. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as I post new videos every week. And keep living fit from food. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.